Hey, this is Morgan from MorganOnScience.com and MetaMorgan on Twitter. And today I'm following up on this um, series that I've been doing about being successful and effective as a scientist and whether or not we were trained um, uh, to really be the, have the maximal efficacy that, that we would want in our careers. And so I'd like to um, examine graduate school from this perspective and from this, the perspective of this subject that I've been talking about, which is being proactive. Um, you know, again, according to Stephen Covey, um, in the first chapter of his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, one of the foundations of being effective is, is being proactive, not just reactive to one's circumstances or genetics or upbringing, but being proactive and, and driving your actions based on your core values and your core beliefs. Um, so graduate school is interesting. I see many people struggle, and, and I had my own share of struggles that um, I'll talk about at some point. And, and I see many people struggle through graduate school. And I've often asked, what is the big struggle? Why is it that you know, people might fly through their undergraduate careers, and then they get into graduate school, and it's like, boom, they hit a wall and it's just really hard for them to move forward, especially when it comes time to write that thesis and defend that thesis. And I think the thing is that, you know, yesterday I examined the school system and whether or not it trains people to be proactive. And my conclusion was, at least for the grade school system, that no, it doesn't train people to be very proactive at all. And I would argue that that actually, that, that there's minimal proactivity trained all throughout one's career until you get to graduate school. Once you get to graduate school, then it's interesting. Then, at least in some portion of your life, you're required to be proactive. You're not going to get a PhD in most circumstances unless you get a little bit of proactivity and become an expert on a subject of your own choosing. You know, maybe your, your advisor helps point you in that direction, but uh, uh, you know, most PhDs, you have to choose a topic, you have to be independently motivated to go out and seek information and to do experiments and then to write up those experiments. And so suddenly you're faced with this big task of being proactive when throughout school you've never been taught to actually be proactive. That's what I actually think the biggest struggle for most people in graduate school is, is this, this lack of training in being simply proactive. And yet we expect people to be proactive in graduate school. And that's, that's really, really hard for a lot of folks. And so, um, you know, some advisors are more hands-on and will usher people through, but even with a very hands-on advisor, um, I still think it's, it's a challenge. And so, you know, I wonder if there's a way to structure graduate school to have a little bit more of a gentle transition or more guidance or counseling that helps people um, move into that proactive mode. I mean, I see a lot of graduate students who get into graduate school and think that, you know, it's still really important, like what classes they take and, and what grades they get in their classes and, and, you know, things like that. And those are reactive things. And that's not really what graduate school is about, especially not getting a PhD. Maybe for a master's program, that's still important. But for a PhD, the most important thing is that proactive output that you do, which is your thesis, ultimately. The summary of of the work that you've gone out and, and taken a hold of and, and moved forward and, and created. So, um, you, know, you know, one way of looking at this, let's consider an undergraduate genetics class. I know we're going backwards a little bit to the topic, but you know, an undergraduate genetics class, at least the one I took, was basically, you know, here are a series of facts about genetics that we currently know and you have to learn the facts and then you basically have to go take a test to regurgitate those facts and maybe do some lab experiments to regurgitate or recapitulate those those facts or those experiments and that is the whole class um there's there's very little proactivity there it's almost all reactivity where i'm given an assignment i go do the assignment i'm given some reading to do i go do the reading you know i don't have to think about how do i push this field forward beyond where it already was and that would be a proactive move, but very little in the undergraduate career does that. And, and again, so that's, that's, that I think it explains why when people come into graduate school, they don't have that sort of proactive mindset that's so hard for people to achieve. And, you know, 
I, I've also observed an interesting thing that when people go out after they graduate with their bachelor's degrees and they go out in the quote real world for a little while and do some kind of work and then come back to graduate school, um, they often seem a little bit more focused and more effective as graduate students, many of the people that I know who've done that. And I wonder if it isn't because the real world requires some certain level of proactivity that's not required in an undergraduate curriculum. Um, you know, the undergraduate curriculum, again, it's pretty prescribed what you'll do and when you'll do it. But the real world, it's not so much that way. You know, you really have to be more proactive, at least to some degree, to survive the real world. So maybe, you know, going out and having a real life experience, you know, with a job and, you know, a house and whatever, you know, gets people more in that proactive mode so that if they come back to graduate school from that, um, that they can be a little bit more effective, um, a little bit more proactive. So, you know, I think there are ways for people who haven't had that experience to become more proactive. Um, and I'll explore that in the future on this blog. I think it's a really important topic. Um, but I've gone on long enough today, so I'm going to sign off, but I really want your comments. Um, what do you think about proactivity and the differences between an undergraduate curriculum and a graduate curriculum? I'm really curious to hear your comments and I'll definitely answer any questions that you have below in the comments. And again, that's at morgananscience.com and metamorgan on Twitter. I hope to see you there and I'll be coming at you tomorrow with a little bit about my personal story of struggling with proactivity. Until then, bye-bye.